Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I never wanted to do this. <laughs> I dread to record this video because when I get used to the reality, I am afraid of it, okay? <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about the starting makeup inventory of 2024. Some of them I finished, some of them I just got. It's super confusing, but I'll try to wrap up the numbers of 2023 and 2024. So if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, let's start off with the primers. In the beginning of 2023, I had 17 primers. Now I have 15 primers. So that means we have finished two primers. Uh, with 15 primers that I have in the collection, I know some of the primers are in like my finishing up stage, especially this like NYX Plump Right Back. Uh, I constantly use this Nessa Myrix Balm Powder as my primer. So some of them are in constant rotation. In my winter months, I always use this Merit uh, Beauty Oil kind of a thing as a primer too. So I feel like 15 is a good number. I definitely want to stay under 20 and I want to utilize as much as I can rather than like just buying it. So I'm not anytime soon going to buy any primers. So I will focus on like finishing off the ones that I have in my collection because it's makeup. It will get expired. So we don't want that to happen and like waste our money. So let's move on to the foundation category. In the beginning of 2023, I had 25 foundation and right now I have 26 foundations. I actually did finish up three foundations last year, but three were added to my collection back as a gift from other brands and all. And then I bought uh, myself one uh, foundation. I finished a foundation this year, which one, which was the Believe Beauty foundation in the shade Toffee. But right now, currently I do have like 25 foundations. If you do the calculations, currently I have 25. Last year I had 25. So I am at that point, but I have a few in my collection that I can declutter to, which we'll do towards like mid year. And we'll see if you're not using any foundation that needs to go away. In the concealer category, I had 14 concealers in the beginning of 2023. Right now also I have 14. Oh my God, I've never compared it, but now I'm comparing. Right now also I have 14. Uh, I added actually two concealers in my collection, uh, which was sent to me by Lancome. So that is also like added in my collection. Um, so currently 16 definitely worse than before uh, i did finish one concealer last year and i also bought the same concealer which was the milani conceal and perfect concealer uh, this always needs to stay in my collection so that's how how things are take it with a grain of salt <laughs> Okay, let's talk about cream bronzer. Okay, I did not even segregate cream bronzers and powder bronzers last year. So in total, I had 25 bronzers. This year, I have 9 cream bronzers and 13 powder bronzers. So let's do the calculation quick. So we have 22 bronzers right now instead of 25, which is a good sign. Which is a good sign, first time. <laughs> Okay, so when we're talking about cream bronzers, we have nine cream bronzers. I have nine cream bronzers. On my constant rotation, I always have the LYS Beauty as well as the Rare Beauty cream bronzer always in front of me. Um, I have my panning bronzer, which is the, I mean, it's not panned as yet, but this is, I want to pan this this year, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer. I just wanted to get this back on rotation. Uh, so we'll see how we uh, do towards the mid-year and see the numbers again. Uh, let's talk about powders. So last year we started with 19 powders and this year we have 18 powders. So we finished one powder. That's how simple it is. Uh, for this year's constant rotation, um, for panning and completing, I have the Kosas Cloud Set uh, powder which is on the edge. So I have that much left. So I am definitely going to focus on finishing this for sure this year. And I also have uh, the e.l.f. powder foundation. It's definitely my tan shade. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one uh, in like the summer months when I'm more tan. So I feel comfortable in that. Um, I might buy one or two uh, powders in 
this year uh, that was my aim uh, we'll see how that rolls uh, let's talk about cream highlighters um, so last year there were no segregation between cream and powder highlighters i had total of 29 highlighters this year i did a segregation of cream and powder so let's see powder highlighters i have 27 and cream highlighters i have six so for 33 highlighters in total i have right now last year was 29 definitely got added for sure highlighter three four were gifted to me last year and three i bought which i know for a fact i got two rare beauty highlighters as well as um the whatsapp beauty highlighter that was the highlighters that i personally got so we are starting at 33 we'll see how that rolls apart from these single highlighters i also have three additional highlighter palettes which were all sent to me in pr uh, by all indie brands so i'll keep that with me we'll talk about the face palettes a little later uh let's no let's not talk about lipstick because i hate it <laughs> okay uh let's talk about blushes first okay uh cream blushes last year we started with 31 this year we have 30 one finished uh powder blushes we started with 22 right now we have powder blushes 19 which i know for a fact i had gifted some to my sister too uh and i finished one so we are in a good spot uh, nowhere like in a great spot i really want to finish off uh, blushes especially the cream blushes i have 30 cream blushes that's a lot that's a lot on my constant rotation i have the dalton beauty cream blushes as well as the merit beauty cream blush in the shade fox which i use continuously and m cosmetics uh, cream blushes are in constant rotation for me so i really really love that those are going constantly on my rotation and i hopefully would finish at least one cream blush is what i'm thinking okay let's talk about lipsticks okay last year i didn't even count lipsticks because it was outrageous and i i don't think that i have like taken away actually i do have like finished lipsticks a lot as well as i've given it to some of my like cousins and all so let's talk about this year i have 80 lipsticks right now 39 liquid lipsticks and 16 lip glosses does anybody need this much no but that also says that i should not buy any this includes the lip kit that i also got this year uh which was like that sephora lip set of with like five lipsticks so i included everything in this number i'm gonna make a point that i do not buy any more lip products just because i do have a lot and i do need to declutter a lot also because there are a bunch of lipsticks that are like expired and stuff like that i do need to go over my collection and just get rid of it uh but at the moment 80 lipsticks that is a lot that's a lot uh and i don't even wear like liquid lipsticks a lot um so i don't know i definitely need to search my collection and see which one can go away uh currently i'm wearing the rare beauty uh lipstick in the shade humble before i forget uh let's talk about mascaras um last year i had eight mascaras and this year we have six big mascaras out of which uh, i actually finished one already uh, so we have five big mascaras right now in my collection which i feel like is a good i want to get rid of the mascaras that i have but i also have like seven mini mascaras which are unopened i generally do travel with it whenever i travel so i do not count it so much but five big mascara i think is a good good count to keep i'm not gonna uh, randomly add mascaras to my collection till the time i don't like use it up okay let's talk about face palettes so last year we had 13 face palettes currently i have 11 face palettes so i did give one to my sister and one to a friend so 11 is still a lot i feel like i use the natasha denona face palette as well as the hourglass face palette the most uh, and I do have like a Becca face palette that I use a lot. But otherwise, I do not like go and reach into so many face palettes. Uh, I do enjoy the Physicians Formula face palette too in my collection. Um, I feel the face palettes that I have in my collection are really good. 
I'm happy with that 11 number. I definitely do not want to add on to it. Uh, so let's see. I definitely added like one as a PR uh, gift as a face palette from Simply Posh Cosmetics. So that's an added number. Okay, let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. Last year, I started the count with 102 eyeshadow palettes. And this year, we are starting with 131 eyeshadow palettes. So 131 is definitely a big, big number, but I also am a big eyeshadow fanatic. Can I get rid of some of the palettes? Yes, I can. I'll do a declutter very soon where I'll get rid of a bunch of makeup in my collection and I'll record that 131 definitely is a big number because I know for a fact that obviously this year also there'll be a bunch of eyeshadow palettes that enter in my collection. So we'll see. We'll see how it rolls. Uh, eyeshadow palettes, I'm a little soft hearted on those. <laughs> But we'll see how that rolls. By the way, the palette that I am wearing on my eyes is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I have the shade Wit and Wig on my crease. I deepened it out with the shade, this one, the deeper brown. And then I have Muse on the inner part of the lid. Uh, that's all that I have on myself as well as uh, the blush that I'm wearing is the Merit Blush in the shade Fox. Uh, I think I've covered everything and my inventory let's see how we roll i'll do like a check-in mid-year and the final next year beginning very weird to even say <laughs> but that's all for today guys you guys let me know what is the category that is like a no buy for you uh, by the way i did not touch the uh, eyeliners uh, as well as what else brow pencils because i feel like i'm very good at that i currently have three brow pencils open i'm set with that i definitely want like one high-end eyebrow pencil and one drugstore pencil open and then the one that i'm using <coughs> i feel i'm good at that eyeliners like liquid liners i use it quite often so i do utilize uh, all the liquid eyeliners that i have and i currently have like three or four open so i'm good with that too i have a bunch of eye pencils that i can declutter uh, but it's scattered all across the place and i did not count the lip liners because i have a bunch i have a bunch <laughs> but that's all guys if you did like this video if you do like counting your inventory makeup inventory so that you don't indulge into buying a lot of makeup do let me know in the comment section below but that's all for today guys if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 am eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys